Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to have a little bit of a look at a ridiculously rare Charizard. A ridiculously rare Charizard. This has just been announced for a tournament over in Thailand, and your first response to seeing this is probably going to be, hang on a second, what's he? I've seen that Charizard before. And yes, yes you have ladies and gentlemen. We'll get more into this in a moment, but when we got the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, this was very much one of the promos that was included in it. It's a very cool promo. However, it is not the same over in Thailand. Quite frankly, go, go find your English version of the card. And go and give it a nice gentle hug so you don't, you know, ruin its condition and all of that. And be very thankful, ladies and gentlemen, because we might have got this card very nicely and easily over here, and that's lovely. But in other territories, yeah. um, I think not the same would be a very gentle way of putting it. So what's gone and happened? Well, over in Thailand, they are doing a tournament, which is called Battle for the Charizard VMAX. Asia-wide regulation event. There are only going to be 50. And essentially, you've got to go and buy five packs of cards to enter. There are between 16 and 32 people. It is a standard format tournament. And then the winner is going to go and get themselves an alternate art Charizard V Max. Nice and simple. Take part, 16 to 32 people. Winner gets a Charizard. I don't see on the website, I'm not seeing any notes about any other prizes. So it does seem to be a little bit like, winner gets the Charizard, everybody else gets nothing. Although I do for a second just want to go back to the whole, there's no entry fee. It looks at least like there's no entry fee. But instead, what they're doing is getting you to buy five packs of cards. I really like this. I love the idea of this. Because the shop that's holding it gets a bunch of business. And the players get a bunch of cards. So even the people that don't get the Charizard, which is obviously the vast majority of people, they still get some packs of cards and hopefully they'll get something good. So there are going to be four rounds if there are 16 players and five if there's 17 to 32. Top four go into a 75 minute best of three elimination. Top cut. And the winner gets a promo card. Second place gets Charizard sleeves. And two other players will receive Charizard sleeves by a random draw. But only players who stay until the end of the tournament are eligible. If you leave early, you don't get the sleeves. Which, and I'm all in favour of this, let's be clear. But 75 minutes, that's an hour and a quarter. So two rounds, assuming that there is no gap between them whatsoever. That's two and a half hours. And it could be shorter, it could be like 20 minutes, it, the games could be super quick. But it's likely you're going to be waiting about two and a half odd hours. And then, if you leave early, you can't win. But then if you don't win the draw to get the Charizard sleeves, then you're kind of just sitting there for like two and a half hours, getting nothing. Although you do get to watch Top Gut, I suppose. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen... I don't know. The point is, this is very, very cool. What I really, really like is, it literally says on the website, and it's a Google Translated, but it gives the idea. Meet the new Lizard on VMAX, Charizard. Only 50 in Thailand, and not available in Japan. They have literally made a point of saying on the website, this card is not available in Japan. I personally find that kind of hilarious. And I wish I had an answer for why this card wasn't being released in Japan. I don't. Now, if we go back to the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection just for a moment, of course, the VMAX wasn't the only alternate art card we had. We also had an alternate art Charizard V and an alternate art Charizard V Star. And it was actually kind of easy. Because over in Japan, we had the set V Star Universe. And in V-Star Universe, we got ourselves, at least, you know, over in Japan they did, they got the alternate art Charizard V and the alternate art Charizard V-Star. 
both of those cards were released in that set over in Japan. And I do think that that leads to, I think, an incredibly fair question. What's going on? How come two of those cards were released in Japanese in the same set, but they were missing one given that all three of them came out in, in the same English language product? That doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. I wish I had an answer for you. I don't. The best, and this to be clear, this is pure guesswork. But I taught business for many years. I've looked at this kind of stuff over and over for many different businesses, many different markets. The best idea I can give you is this. There was a planned product over in Japan or a set or something that was supposed to include this Charizard. For whatever reason, and we have no idea of knowing, but for whatever reason, this product got cancelled before they got round to announcing it. And they've just not had an opportunity to get this Charizard into a product since. That is the best explanation I can give you. Because it's either that or they just kind of forgot about it. And I, I don't believe that's true. There was probably a plan to release this in some way over in Japan. Whether it was a product or whether it was a tournament promo or whatever. And for some reason it fell through, it got cancelled and it was too late. Because it's worth pointing out, like the most recent sets that came out in Japan are Snow Hazard and Clayburst. That is the double set that constitutes Scarlet and Violet 2. So we've had Scarlet and Violet 1, Scarlet and Violet 1A, and Scarlet and Violet 2. We are three sets in in Japan right now. If you count the double sets as separate sets, we're five sets in. This is a Sword and Shield era card. Not a Scarlet and Violet era card. And we have seen exceptions. We have seen some cards, you know, jump eras to be released as promos. It happens very, very occasionally. But you've got to think by now that if it was going to happen, it probably would have happened. And we got the same thing going on with Clara, the full art Clara, that was in the premium tournament collection over here. As it stands at the moment, that card doesn't exist in Japan. There is no Japanese version of this card. It's not been released. And again, this is doubly weird because the other premium tournament collection was Boss's Orders Cyrus. And that had a promo in. And that promo was in V-Star Universe. So why only one of the premium tournament collection promos was in V-Star Universe? I don't know. Why only two of the three Charizard promos was in V-Star Universe? I don't know. But something weird is going on here because there are these unusual cards that have been released in English that should have been released in V-Star Universe because that makes by far the most sense. That for some reason, and I really can't put my finger on it, they weren't released in V-Star Universe and I'm not seeing any real obvious place to go and release them. It just doesn't seem to make a huge amount of sense. Sorry, I wish I had a better explanation for you, but right now, I'm just not seeing it. The good news is, if you want a copy of this card, this is not an expensive card. You can go over to TCG Player right now, and you can pick up this card pretty gosh darn cheap. And I've set the graph to a year over on TCG Player just because it's kind of funny, because you can see there was a point people were selling it for $140, which is ridiculous. It's now a $12 card. And we've got a couple of sales in the past few days that are $12.81. It's a $12 card. It is literally a $12 card. It's incredibly cheap. So, yeah, sure, it might not exist in Japanese. And sure, over in Thailand, there are literally 50 copies of it. There are 50 tournaments and you have to rock up and literally win the whole thing to get yourself the Charizard. But if all you want is the artwork, if the card is all you're after... I've got wonderful news for you, ladies and gentlemen. The English version of this card is worth, like, very little. It's a very common, very cheap card. So, sure, maybe don't wait for the Japanese version. I'm not sure it's ever coming. And sure, don't go and pay for the Thai version, which is going to be redonkulously expensive. But if you just want the card and the artwork's what you're doing, great news, ladies and gentlemen great news right there we have it ladies and gentlemen that's all you need to know and now it's over to you guys tell me what you think about this charizard do you have the english version how much do you love it go nuts in the comment section but be nice 
And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join the Discord, all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Kiridan, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and seems to be a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far, the most important thing is always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.